The age of lab-grown meat has arrived in this country. The Agriculture Department just approved... Lab cultivated meat. June 21st of 2023, USDA have approved the sale of cell cultivated meat. cultivated meat. meat, put really simply, is real meat that is grown from animal cells. So if you imagine the meat that we have loved and eaten for tens of thousands of years, um, the meat that we cultivate is actually biologically the same, but it's made in a whole new way. The approval way. means that the U.S. becomes the second country in the world after Singapore to allow this type of sale. While some countries are already banning the movement, such as Italy, tentatives of making lab meat and plant-based imitations have been growing in the last couple of years. According to these companies, these are new strategies to reduce the impact of meat production that could be currently damaging the environment. Cows are a major source of greenhouse gas emissions, 15% of the total worldwide. The lab-grown meat sector has gathered pace in the US over the past year with a number of different startups as a way to challenge plant-based Offices to support cultivating alternative food sources. If you don't know me yet, my name is Marcia Lobo and I'm a nutritionist trying to build a community of health people. If you want to be part of this community and understand more about health and nutrition in a unique storytelling way, please subscribe. Definitely is not deniable that the way that we have been producing meat is not the most sustainable approach. But nutritionally speaking, animal meat is still superior than plant products. This happened due to a variety of factors, but one of them is the nutrient composition of these products. For example, when you compare animal products to plant-based alternatives, the animal product not only have less calories, but less saturated fats, sodium, and more protein. There is a whole new scenario to explore right now with lab girl meat, which in fact I will be analyzing three factors. Is lab meat even affordable to produce? Second, sustainability. It's lab girl meat actually helping the planet while substituting traditional meat production. The new products are not vegetarian as some people may think, but rather meat that has been grown in the sort of a setting lab more familiar to the pharmaceutical industry than the food sector. Meat. So you're making meat in here. Yes. But I don't see any animals and I don't see any animal parts. <laughs> well, that's the trick, A right? scrapping of cells are taken from animal parts such as a cow or chicken and then multiply it into cuts of meat inside of bioreactors. These bioreactors work almost like a dome, protecting the cell from the outside world and feeding them with purified water, vitamins, fats, sugar and oxygen. While a cow just requires grass and rainwater. When producing these meats, the facility needs to be totally clean because even a tiny amount of bacteria or virus could ruin the entire batch. While a cow has an immune system so it can just lay in the grass outside without a problem. So what I can see here, a big challenge to produce lab cultivated meat is the need for efficient way to provide that cell oxygen and nutrients. While at the same time removing all the components that we don't want, such as ammonia, lactate, and CO2. Otherwise, it's gonna look like that the cell we see in its own urine. But a cow can do that perfectly with lungs, heart, liver, and kidneys. While another problem still, who's gonna consume this product? The size of the investment, the scaling up, and who are you targeting as a customer? And especially, who is gonna eat this? If you're not forced to eat lab-grown meat, while you will be eating lab-grown meat. Which, to invest in a product like this, there needs to be a big justification. This is not a vegan product, so vegans are not gonna consume. And meat eaters already are very satisfied with the product that they have. So, if this product is not cheaper than an actual meat, and it's not vegan, who are these customers? Okay, you might be thinking there's a much strategic and ethical reason to be doing this, which is to save the planet. The only way that things would change is let meat has a huge impact on sustainability. The most common justification for lab meat is to prevent conventional meat from destroying the planet. And what is the problem that we try to solve by cultivated meat? So that we, we have a planet to inhabit. Government should be innovating in plant-based meat and cultivated meat for agriculture, for the environment, and for global health. One report from Good Food Institute, which promotes and supports the lab meat facility, admitted that one model facility would cost approximately $450 million to be made when producing an average of 22 million pounds of meat in one year. Which, don't take me wrong, sounds a lot of meat. 
But for better understanding, currently the US have 30 billion pounds consumption of just beef per year. Which means that these 22 million pounds every year would only represent less than 1% of US consumption. Look, I'm a big supporter for creating a healthier planet and a healthier community. I wanna fight for the environment as much as you want to. If you introduce to me an opportunity that will save people's lives and the planet, and it's gonna be beneficial for both sides and financially affordable, I'm not gonna even ask what it is. I will probably just put my money down and say yes. But even if we assume that these labs have 0% impact on emissions to the environment, which we know that that's impossible, understand the the energy intensity i mean you're running a whole lot of tanks at 37 degrees they produce a lot of then radiant heat so they actually have to air condition your rooms if you're not using completely renewable energy you won't be more sustainable if the u.s decided to substitute only one percent of just beef consumption and we are not counting chicken and other types of meat the initial cost of lab meat facilities to make that happen would be approximately six billion Dollars. So just to clarify, we are talking about a $6 billion deal for a reduction of 1%, only 1% consumption of beef in one country. So we can say that the idea and the project of lab cultivated meat has a lot of potential to help the planet. But right now, at the phase that we are with the numbers that we have and with the technology available, we need to be honest to make a tiny difference on gas emissions all around the world and not just the US. This would cost a couple trillion of dollars. Well, now that we understand that the impact of lab meat cost is not cheap and the impact of this product on the environment will still require a lot of improvement. How about the quality and safety of this product? Is lab meat even meat? and what are the long-term impact of this product on our health. As I said before, lab meat is basically cultivated cells from real animals inside of big machines and mix it with a bunch of nutrients and oxygen. Is 100% meat. But usually this lowery mass is not one of the most appetizing things to eat. I call our product Little Lisa's patented animal slurry. A spoonful of slurry will cure what ails ya. These lab meats do not actually have all the nutrients and components such as muscle necessary to do your actual structured steak. Real meat have muscles, blood vessels, minerals, vitamin, fat. We're not gonna come out with a steak, we're gonna come out with a hamburger. However, still there is enough data to determine if these products are actually beneficial or if can cause any damage to our health. Since the product was just released by the USDA for sale, I believe in the next upcoming month, we'll be seeing a merge of lab growth meat and randomized controlled trials and studies to see what are the possible implications that this product can cause on our health. What I can tell you right now is some of the advantages that we are already able to see it, such as less contamination, due to less contact with the air and controlled lab environment. Also fear antibiotics, since traditional raised livestock are often given leading to antibiotic resistance. In kinder to animals. While cultivated meat requires small sample, does not require an animal to be killed. But one thing we can be sure that this entire change will not be easy and cheap. It might require government investments. But so far, just be careful with all the promise. And for now, stay healthy and less salt nutrition.